And 10 on your side is your local election headquarters. The second congressional district race is getting tighter. The Wasson Center poll from Christopher Newport University says incumbent Republican Jen Kiggins leads Democratic challenger Missy Cotter Smazel by a single point. Election day is less than two weeks away, and 10 on your side's Ashley Knight has a closer look at this very important race. Ashley. Well, Tom, this race is literally neck and neck. I spoke with political analyst Dr. Eric Clavel with Norfolk State University, who says it's the diverse demographic of the district that is one of the factors causing it to be such a tight race. The second congressional district in the Commonwealth is a very unusual one. It's very military centered. It's a heavy military town, and with that, you get a large diversity of voters and also uh, beliefs, demographics, and so forth. Because of its very demographic, in addition to the redrawing of congressional lines, the district has a history of flipping parties on an almost regular basis. As far as 2009, when, of course, the district was held by Glenn Nye, a Democrat, who came in under the Obama wave. And then after that, we see where Scott Ridgell, a Republican uh, defeated him and held the seat for roughly uh, eight years, uh, four cycles. And then he was succeeded by another uh, Republican, Scott Taylor. But then after that, we see where uh, Democrat Elaine Luria came in and unseated him in a highly contested race, but very close. And we're seeing a close race again. Kiggins and Cotter Smozel, both with military backgrounds, but differing in terms of abortion and immigration, which Claville believes will shift the voters one way or another. A Wasson Center survey sees Kiggins leading by one slim point as of this week. Claville says things can change between the time when people started voting early and election day. We have October surprises, we have September Labor Day, <laughs> and we have uh, running up to the election where you have a, 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 a litany of commercials and advertisers that come out. Again, it really depends on when those ballots were submitted. He sees this district being a battleground for years to come, or at least until the end of the decade. He says it's odd this race is mirroring the presidential race and how close it is. He believes the victor will win by 1.2 or 1.5 percent, definitely no more than two. We've, rece we've received statements from both Kiggins and Cotter Smozel's campaign in relation to this tight race. You can read those over at wavy.com. Ashley Knighton on your side. And also on wavy.com, our full voter guide. Our special coverage page includes candidate profiles, important dates, poll information, much more. It's all there under the news tab. 